This is Sandeep Anand. Hello all. Welcome to Sand Compounding. This is an era of rapid information proliferation and algorithmic trading, you know, driving the markets. Uh, amidst all these smart fund managers, information available so easily, so much of analysis covering all the stocks. Do retail investors like us, do we have a chance at all in investing? Yes, it is because in investing, the most critical factor is the habit of temperament. Temperament is a character that we need to make it inherent and part of our investing journey. If you see any retail, any retail investors, this is one key trait that we need to develop. And take a look at any of the super investors who have become wealthy, who have become uh, great in investing process. They all had temperament in nature. And it, it is not that everyone tends to have it in nature. It could be practiced, it could be nurtured over periods of time and it is still achievable. So let me reiterate the importance of temperament. They are inextricably tied with patience and these two go hand in hand. I'll cover about patience in the ne next video, but for now understand the importance of temperament. The answer is that investors behave in very human ways, which is they get very excited during bull markets and they look in the rearview mirror and they say, I made money last year, I'm going to make more money this year, so this time I'll borrow, you know, or, or the neighbor says, you know, I wasn't in last year when that neighbor was dumber than I, I made a lot of money, so I'm going to go in this year. So they're always looking in the rearview mirror. And when they look in the rearview mirror and they see a lot of money having been made in the last few years, they plow in and they just push and push and push on prices. And when they look in the rearview mirror and they see no money having been made, they just say, this is a lousy place to be. So they don't care what's going on in the underlying business. And it's, it's astounding, but that's, that makes for a huge opportunity, just huge opportunity. I mean, I lived through roughly half, in an investing sense, about half that period. And I've had that long period of stagnation from 48, uh, I mean, from 65, uh, the 82, 17 years. I wrote an article for Forbes in 1979. I just said, how can this be? Pension funds in, the, in 1970 put 100 and some percent of their new money in stock because they were wild about stocks. Then they got a lot cheaper and they put a record low in, 9% of their net new money in in 1978 when stocks were way cheaper. People behave very peculiarly in, in, in terms of the reactions because they they're human beings and they, they get excited when others get excited, they get greedy when others get greedy, they get fearful when others get fearful and they'll continue to do so. And you will, you, know, you will see things you won't believe in your lifetime and securities markets. And the country will do very well over time, but you will see these huge waves. And, and, and uh, if you can stay objective throughout that, if you can detach yourself temperamentally from the crowd, you get very rich.